yeah hello guys good day you're welcome to my channel again thank you for always standing right by awaiting all our contents and today i should guarantee you you're getting one amazing tutorial and i'm here to teach you how to analyze your beam elements in a very simple step basic steps using a particular application yes um yes i am joshua the designer i create amazing content on structural engineering and engineering designs at large and i like that you subscribe to this channel and like this particular video as we drop in amazing content yes so considering this general arrangement if you still don't know how to create a general arrangement drawing from your architecture you would like to use one of our videos um, that we have been created long ago you can go to the channel go through the channel you'll find the video how to create a general arrangement the easy way to create a general arrangement drawing and you'll be able to get what you're seeing on my screen yes yeah, so but today um, we have a lot of challenges with um, analyzing beams so quickly you know and accurate how can you analyze your beams quickly and so accurate and you know many people have a lot of questions and a lot of difficulty and challenges around this particular stuff okay but today i will take you to very easy way to analyze beams for example Considering what you're seeing on my screen, beam B is a very long beam, about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about seven spans. And I showed to us in my last video how to identify a simply supported beam and a continuous beam. So beam B, as you can see on my screen, is a continuous beam. So if you are analyzing, if you are going to analyze to obtain the simple um, shear force and the bending moment diagrams and their numerical values. Of this particular beam is going to take you a whole lot and um, of course you want to be accurate with your results also okay so that is why I've come to show you how to do this in a very simple step and um, this morning um, we're going to be using we're going to be using an application I want to show you um, a particular software that you can use to obtain your share force and your bending moment and um, the application is b max this is what you see b max b e a m a x b max you can obtain your shear force diagram your bending moment diagram and their numerical values and even the deflection you can obtain all of this in a very simple step so i'll take you through the process afresh then we're good to go thanks let's get started so we have our beam b our beam b it has a total length of 31.5 meters 31.5 meters so we go back to vmax then we start a new new project then we start here is a question for the length of the beam and the length of the beam is 31.5 meters and that gives me the length of my beam now then I understand from my general arrangement drawing that I have basically one two three four five six seven eight supports and this spans two meters 5.5 meters 5.5 meters 5.5 meters 5.5 meters then two meters okay that's fine so this is what we need to to put up our analysis Okay, so we go back. We go back here. Now, to frame that which I just showed to you, we have different kind of supports. Right now, you should understand that there are various kind of supports when you're talking about your your beam. We have a fixed support. We have the inched support or the pin support. Then we have the roller support yes and we understand that for a fixed support as this that i'm showing showing you 
a fixed support indicates that there are three reactions the vertical reactions the horizontal reaction and the moment being subjected to that particular point of application then we have the inch support or the pin support it actually means that we are having two reactions on that particular end which is the vertical re reaction and the horizontal reaction that's fine so we have the roller support also which indicates that we only have one reaction which is the vertical reaction okay so i would apply pin or inch support to all my support positions okay so i have this being the first first point of support which is zero so i, I place it there then remember that in what i showed to us that what we have is two meters two meters okay so two meters 5.5 5.5 so that is exactly what i would use in dealing with this so i have 7.5 meters that's the first the first support the first interior support that i have so and that is exactly what i would use okay so that that's fine so then the next one will be 13 because we have 5.5 5.5 I, I believe you, you 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 get me right okay in case you did not get me i would do that again so that you'll be able to get me i want to believe that there are some people that that do not really understand what i just did now so from the first support what i did and i have the next support which is two meters from the formal support then the next one will be 7.5 and all of these data have been taken from the general ribbon drawing i showed to us and the next one will be 13 yes that's accurate and the the next one will be 18.5 And the next one will be 24. And the next one will be 29.5. Okay. And the next one will be 31.5. Okay. So if you check out what i have here i have my eight support complete eight support and um, i actually place them based on the dimensions that we have earlier as shown in the general arrangement okay so then i can now load my beam so i would assume that this beam is subjected to a five kilonewton per meter udl load uniformly distributed load yes so that is exactly what i put here then the length load length is going to be entirely on the beam which is 31.5 meters as i showed the other time okay so we are going to have something like this this is what we have okay but what we are seeing now is only the moment diagram but we can actually bring back all the shear force diagram the moment diagram the deflection diagram and the numerical values so this is exactly what they're going to do show this is the shear force now then i show the displ displacement also then i can also bring the values okay so you can see that i have safely analyzed beam b as long as it is with my bmax software okay so i have the shear force i have the bending moment i have the deflection with the numerical values and i am safe in my design I'm safe with my analysis rather and I have all I need to con continue my design. So this is your bending moment and shear force in a very simple step. So if you have any question or anywhere that you really don't get it, you can drop comments. I'm going to attend to it so sure and um, ensure that you like this video and subscribe. Also do well to share with your colleagues, with your friends.